Okay, in this short video I'm going to show you some tips on using Evernote more effectively by using their free email address that they give you. And so basically Evernote provides a free email address that allows you to forward any and everything that you would like from another email directly into Evernote. It's a really neat, fun little feature. Uh, but what happens is the default email address that you get with Evernote has a bunch of numbers and it's not easy to memorize. So what I like to do is I actually like to create a separate Gmail account and you can name that Gmail account whatever you would like and what you can do is you can um, set the Gmail up to in the settings to actually forward the anything that you send to this Gmail account directly to your Evernote account. So you could use something very catchy like evernotejoe at gmail.com and so everything that you forward to evernotejoe at gmail.com is going to automatically be forwarded to Evernote. So you come across someone sends you an email with a cool link you forward that to evernotejoe at gmail.com and it forwards it directly into Evernote. Now the way that you can manage this is make a default notebook called Inbox. Um, you have to choose a default notebook anyway, but choose it as Inbox. And the goal for that notebook is for it to work like a physical Inbox would on um, your desk. So everything in there is going to get cleared out into other folders. So that will help. Now there's three applications of how you could use this. First of all, give out your Gmail address. Give it out to your spouse, give it out to somebody that works closely with you, a business partner, secretary, and anytime they come across something that they feel like you need to have referenced somewhere, instead of it clogging up in your own email box and just kind of sitting there as either a to-do item or even just as something you need to print off and file or store somewhere, they can just automatically send it to your Gmail address that gets forwarded right into Evernote. So that's a great application. Two is that you can actually create separate Gmail accounts and you could use these specifically for tasks or a specific project or if you just want to have different people to have different separate Gmails, you, what you do is you use the same exact Evernote email, but you just create different Gmail accounts. And so you end up having a couple of different Gmail accounts that all end up going to the same Evernote account. Then you've got one inbox where you can view all of th these items that are coming from different places. And then lastly, also you want to do that with any um, documents or attachments. Because what happens is we get documents, we get PDF reports, we get these things that people want us to read and it just sits in our inbox in our Outlook and better it would be to have it forwarded to Evernote so that when you get some time you can go into your Evernote account and it's there and what's cool is about Evernote is if they send a PDF report if someone sends a PDF report into your Evernote or even if you do you can actually search the text on that PDF report which is a really neat feature to find things quicker. So hope that helps. Visit simplelifehabits.com for more productivity tips.